This is Monty with Build Brothers, started my digital inspection. We are at 719F Avenue here in Coronado on a multi-unit complex. And there are multiple leak points on this roof, or multiple roof points, excuse me. Uh, we have a little flat section right here, and then what we're looking at on the rest of the roof is a architectural asphalt shingle. Now, as far as pointing out those leaks, let me get right to it. Um, this is a potential leak point that is right on the corner here, connecting from the shingle portion to the flat section. And another issue I notice is the amount of exposed nail heads on this roof. You can see on the ridge caps, a lot of cracked and broken, very weathered ridge caps, but let me point out all the exposed nail heads. So these are your leak points around the ridge line. And there is a hole going all the way down to the wood. So that's not good. Um, but it gets progressively worse as we get to the center of this. You can see there is about five on the center piece. All right. Now the leaky skylights. There is approximately three leaky skylights that we know about and that we can identify accurately. This one is definitely leaking on the corner here. And as you can see, there's a lot going on on this roof. Um, this one, it's kind of hard to tell, but this one looks pretty sealed up. Um, but this one, I'm guessing that this one is leaking as well because of this area. This is all open. So that is not sealed. We can see some wear and tear on this section. Not sure from what. Um, but you can see that fiberglass starting to show on the outer edges of these shingles. And you can see on this flat section, this is where all the water is going to tend to collect. Right on the end here, you can see all the granule buildup around the scupper drains. And a little bit of water staining. So that just tells us where the water is going. But another thing that I notice throughout this roof is the amount of termite damage. So you can see, we get a good look at that wood from the termite munching away. Um, and this is around the chimney on the corner. All right, let me hop down here. Okay. So we have some massive repair around these shingles and so these must have been exposed nail heads that got covered up all right and we got some old skylights here more mastic repair and this is going to be my guess as to where that second leak is coming from, or excuse me, the third. So we have two up there and another leaky skylight over here. So this is all cracked. This is definitely gonna need to be replaced or sealed up somewhat, because that is a leak. Um, and then around these penetrations, these seals are open. Same thing over here. penetrations need to be resealed and same thing over here this is completely open as well so anytime it rains that water is going to go straight down into there already um, and more of that termite damage so this you can see all these termite termite droppings underneath here so that fascia board has been getting eaten up. You can see a nice pile right there from the termites. Um, so yeah, and we have a lot of granule buildup and the gutters here. 
Another sign of termite damage is hiding underneath this portion right here. You can see just how eaten away this wood is. More termite droppings on this. Another penetration that needs to get sealed up. That's exposed. And more exposed nail heads. Um, so that's a common thing I'm seeing on this roof. A lot of termite damage. We see more termite droppings on this wood. This wood looks really warped. You can see water staining on here. I'll hop up up here. Water's definitely getting through on this corner. You can see that this definitely is a leak point because there's mastic on there. Um, these ridge caps are are cracked as well just like the first roof plane and again we see multiple exposed nail heads on just about almost every single one of these ridge caps and this ridge cap on the end is completely gone that got eroded and blown off and you can see just the amount of granule loss we're seeing on a lot of these shingles this happens just over time when those oils begin to evaporate under the sun for years and years and those granules have nothing to hold on to so they just fall off and blow away, end up in the gutters. Same thing with this one, we have two exposed nail heads, the end cap actually just got blown off. And a lot more exposed nail heads. Same thing right here. This is definitely going to be a leak point. And quite a bit of granule loss. Same thing down here. This is completely lifted up. We have a metal piece. Um, almost looks like step flashing a piece of it um, sticking up. So again, you can see that's about a an inch gap where water is allowed entry point. Um, so our assessment of this roof, there are multiple compromised areas, multiple leak points. Um, and, you know, something else I miss. You can see, again, more of that termite damage. You can see just how rotted away this wood underneath here is. Um, so because of this substantial termite damage um, within the wood, I mean, we don't know how much wood is going to need to be replaced. We know a good amount of it will be rotted out and need to be replaced. Um, so that should be expected. Uh, but yeah, there are multiple leak points on this. So would definitely recommend just re-roofing this because of the amount of compromised areas and the amount of leak points and we do know that water has been actively getting into this roof um, so yeah i will get this out to the owner and go over some options thank you